Just want to ask you as well, there's obviously a big fight coming up on uh, Saturday. I uh, know Friday, in fact, between Vasil Lomachenko and Anthony Crawler in your weight division. Have you, before I ask kind of the obvious questions, have you sparred Crawler in the past? Have you worked with him? Never, never sparred Crawler. Um, good fighter. Um, I rate him very highly. He's a tough man. Um, he's a good boxer. He's a former world champion, so you can't take nothing away from him and he's going out there to win. Um, although it's a big, massive task in front of him, but listen, he's, he's, got that, he's got the belief, he's got the heart and he's got the determination to, um, to cause an upset, but it's a, it's a very tough um, task in front of him. What sort of aura did Lomachenko have back in the amateurs? I mean, I guess you were really winning your titles when he was on the way out, but did he have kind of an aura amongst the amateur community? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll be straight with you. He's, he was unbelievable as an amateur. And if you drew him in the first one or two fights, you'd be, oh, my God, what's going on? But I was unlucky because you, you just knew you weren't going to get that decision. He, he was just he was a, he was was just levels above everyone. Did you fight him? Nah, I was I was scheduled to fight him in a WSB, but um, like three weeks before I fractured my uh, three four weeks before I fractured my hand. Really? In, <laughs> actually, in a in a WSB fight, so it was in meant to be in WSB, and then um, who ended up fight, uh, Sam Maxwell ended up fighting him for the uh, second yeah, time. So or maybe it might have been the first one he he was in for, but um, yeah. So I was meant to fight him. Then Josh Taylor was meant to fight him. He pulled out with an injury, and then Sam Maxwell got slung in. But I'd rather him than me, anyway. But um, yeah, I was only I was inexperienced. I was a boy then, um, so yeah, it, it would have been a good experience for me. But uh, and it would have been yeah, it would have been it would have been great to get in there and share the ring with um, someone of uh, uh, someone like Lomachenko. But yeah, obviously goals now are different. And if I was to step in a ring, I'd have my mentality was to go in and beat him, not just go in there and just gain experience out of it. Is, that's how it is but yeah he had an aura I remember sitting next to him in a, in a way in, in the world championships and I sat next to him I'm thinking he's only small he's <laughs> tiny but even then he's just how small he is or whatever he can obviously he can punch hard he can box he can do everything and probably he's the most talented fighter out there so is he the benchmark that you're looking to hit as you're in the same weight division of course he's you when as, as a boxer you always look at the, the top the top of the tree and you want to get to to that point and he's at the top of the tree and it's not he's not just at the top of the tree in my way he's probably arguably pound for pound best so if you can get to that level and um then you you know you're doing things right so what w should crawler do what should his tactics be in a fight like that i don't know it's hard for me to say i'm not a coach but i'm sure um Joe Gallagher has got something set out for him to do. But, like, say, for instance, if he's got a great engine, Collar, he's a tough, tough man. If I just say go and put it, put it all over him and rough him up and make it... Because it, to outbox Lomachenko is a... I don't think I've ever seen him being outboxed. So, and uh, Jorge Linares is a very good boxer and he can, he can outbox most people, but he didn't outbox... Um, Lomachenko, but I just think Collar go out there and just put it all over, make it uncomfortable for him, and just just get get on him and don't let him move. Brilliant. Well, we wish you the very best of luck. Obviously, next week British title fight, and uh, yeah, thanks very much for your time.